everyone, my name is Pankaj Rathi and today we will be discussing on how to create a simple resume for Fresher in just 10 minutes. Believe me, in just 10 minutes I will help you create your own resume. What happens these days is most of the students just copy and paste their fellow friend's resume and this will land yourself as well as your friend in trouble. So let us begin uh, by uh, creating the resume in just 10 minutes. The first section will usually consist of your name. Your name will consist of the first name, the middle name as well as the last name. Make sure that you mention your name in bold as well as in capital. The second section is the objective. That is, the objective will be what kind of organization that you want to work for. I had written a simple objective as to work for an organization which will help me uh, to improve my skills as well as to improve my knowledge and to work for an organization which helps me grow along with the growth of the organization. So that is the objective. The third section is your education. Now the education you have to mention from your highest education to your lowest education. That is uh, the highest education will, will be your bachelor's of engineering followed by uh, uh, pre uh, boards uh, that is your 11th and 12th and followed by your 10th uh, that is secondary school. Uh, make sure you mention uh, your college name uh, as well as uh, your CGPA. If you have a good CGPA, do mention uh, the CGPA as well. That is, I had graduated from Sayatri College of Engineering and my CGPA is 8.97 CGPA. So that is my highest uh, education. Uh, the next one was pre-university. That is, I graduated from Maheshpur College where my percentage is 93.3% and my preschool, uh, I mean my secondary school, uh, I had done my secondary school from sec uh, Delhi Public School where my CGPA was 9.8. So if you want to mention your uh, CGPA, you can mention it. If you don't want to mention your CGPA, if you don't have a good CGPA, don't mention it, but just mention the institution's name. The fourth section is your personal skill. One, uh, one's personal skill, you have to understand what is your personal skill. The personal skill uh, is, uh, for example, you might be a quick learner, you might have a good uh, presentation skill, uh, you might have good grasping power. So these are your personal skills. You can mention uh, the various personal skills that you have. The fifth uh, section has the technical skills. Uh, the technical skills for a CS student will be the uh, languages known that is C, C++, Python as well as the tools used that is you can have, uh, you, you might have used Jupyter Notebook or you might have Visual Studio uh, Code, you might have used that tool. For a mechanical student uh, it might be uh, the MATLAB software, for a civil student it might be AutoCAD and so on. So this is the fifth section which mentions the technical skills that you have or that you possess. The sixth section uh, will consist of your email address. Uh, make sure you have a proper email address. That is, my name is Pankaj Rathi, so my email address will consist of Pankaj Rathi and uh, with uh, one or two digits followed by at gmail.com. Uh, don't uh, mention any uh, creepy names such as Pankaj Rocks or Ram Rocks, Ram Rocks at gmail.com. Don't have such uh, email IDs because uh, the HR person won't like it. Make sure you have a formal uh, email ID, formal which consists of your complete name followed by one or two digits uh, at gmail.com. The next section, that is the seventh section, will have your mobile number. Uh, make sure you mention uh, your country code that is plus nine one followed your mobile number uh, followed by your mobile number. The eighth section will be your address. Make sure you enter the complete address uh, of your uh, hometown. Uh, so it is uh, very much required. The ninth section will be the internship. Make sure you have done, if you have completed at least one internship in any, any organization. I have completed uh, two internships, one in New Mango Port Trust and one more in TVS Motor Company Limited. Uh, the HR person might ask you uh, what was your role in uh, the internship that you completed and uh, it is required to have at least one internship uh, when you are applying for your campus interview. The tenth section uh, will be the projects completed or projects done. Now this is the most important section when you go for a technical round of your campus placement because if you uh, if you have done even one project it is enough if you have done more than one project suppose you have done three four projects you can mention it but make sure that you know in and out of the projects that you mentioned there. I had done four or five projects but I have mentioned only two or three projects in my resume because I, am, I was sure that I know in and out of these three projects that I have done. So even if you, uh, enter, if you uh, enter only one project or if you mention five projects, 
uh, it doesn't matter the count doesn't matter but it the knowledge that you have for those projects really matters so make sure that you have you know in and out of those projects the 11th section uh, possesses your achievements now the achievements uh, may be in wide variety that is you might have uh, achievements in your academics for example i had academic achievement that uh, i scored a 10 on 10 cgpa in b2 examination in second semester so i mentioned that uh, the another achievement might be you might have participated in various technical events or technical paper presentation or you might have pres uh, you might have uh, uh, taken part in any cultural event uh, uh, which should not be an uh, in-house in-college event it should be a uh, technical event or it should be a uh, university event basically if you are uh, it should not be just representing your college it should be representing your university so you can mention that you might also uh, enter that you might also mention you have participated in so and so event if you have any, won any prize you might mention that as well so just 10 minutes it will take guys uh, don't please don't copy from your fellow friends and don't land yourself as well as your friend in uh, uh, trouble uh, but by just following these uh, simple uh, tips that i have told you you can create your own resume and you can go along with this resume to various mnc's Believe me, I took this resume, I've gone to various MNCs like TCS, Wipro, uh, IBM, Infosys and I've got placed in uh, all the companies, I've received uh, offer letters from all the companies. So this is a simple resume for a fresher uh, that you can complete in 10 minutes. Uh, that's all from my side. Uh, I hope this uh, video was uh, is helpful for you and uh, you create your own resume. And once you create your own resume, do uh, uh, comment in the comment section saying yes, I have created the resume using your uh, tips and tricks. It will uh, really motivate me to create more and more such videos that will be helpful for you. Do share and subscribe uh, with your friends and families uh, who are freshers and uh, who really uh, want to create their resume on their own rather than just go going to Google and searching how to create resume. You can just follow these tips and tricks and you can create your own resume in a word format and then you can convert into PDF and you can take a printout and go to the campus placement. So that's all from my side. Uh, hope this helps. All the best for your campus placements. Thank you.